Jeffrey Goldberg is one of the media's Middle East experts. He is a staff writer for The New Yorker, has worked for The New York Times Magazine and The Washington Post. He frequently appears on PBS, NBC, ABC, CNN, and NPR news shows. In 2006, he wrote a review of former President Jimmy Carter's book about Israel-Palestine. Carter has spent decades working for Mideast Peace. In 2002, he received the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to bring peaceful solutions to international conflicts. In his book, Carter assigns primary blame for the continuing violence in the Middle East to Israeli leaders. In his Washington Post review, Goldberg slams the book mercilessly. He terms it anti-historical and calls Carter cynical. Goldberg's extremely negative 1,600-word review is featured prominently and in its entirety on Amazon.com's product overview of the book. What the Washington Post and Amazon neglect to tell readers is that Goldberg is hardly a neutral reviewer. I believe from a very early age in, in Zionism in a very, very personal way. After college, Goldberg emigrated to Israel, took Israeli citizenship, joined the Israeli army, and served at Israel's notorious concentration camp, Ketziot. A Palestinian Christian leader describes what it was like to be a prisoner at Ketziot. They feed you when they feel like to. They, they give you water when they feel like to. It's, and you know, they could shoot at you from the towers, from the soldier tower, if they suspect anything is going wrong. It's, it's like being exposed to death 24 hours a day. In fact, I remember this incident like upon arrival to Ketsiaot, the camp administration was trying to force prisoners to build more sections. And prisoners refused. So the, the army, the detention center commander came in after all detainees were standing in rows and, and started shouting at us. And, and then he said, who is the man among you, like in, in Hebrew? And, you know, two persons stepped to say, yes, what do you want? If you want to talk it, we can talk it. And he immediately grabbed the gun from the hand of the soldier and shot them dead. In an interview in The New Yorker, Jeffrey Goldberg described what it was like to work as a guard at Ketziot. 